After nearly a decade of relentless research and development, Blue Organ is on the cusp of a monumental achievement with its first orbital rocket, New Glenn. Recent updates reveal the unveiling of both the rocket's first and second stages, securing a new launch date in collaboration with NASA. With this, New Glenn emerges as a potential contender in challenging SpaceX's long-held dominance in the private space sector. What exactly is Blue Organ's strategy to surpass SpaceX? Can they genuinely close the gap? And how does NASA view its Mars mission in light of New Glenn's advancements? In today's episode of NR Studio, we'll unpack these pressing questions. On August 26th, NASA confirmed that New Glenn is slated to launch on October 13th alongside the highly anticipated Escapade mission. This timing aligns perfectly with Mars' favorable position for travel, an opportunity that arises only once every 26 months. The debut flight of New Glenn will take off from Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida. After years of setbacks, this moment marks a significant milestone for Blorgan. On September 4th, the company revealed that the second stage of New Glenn is now flight ready with a hot fire test of the upper stage, powered by two BE-3U engines, scheduled in the coming week. Adding to the anticipation, an unmanned ship named Jacqueline proudly displaying Blorigen's signature feather logo, docked at Port Canaveral on September 4th. Jacqueline will serve as the landing platform for New Glenn's reusable booster. Measuring 380 feet in length and 150 feet in width, Jacqueline is slightly smaller than SpaceX's drone ships, which span 560 feet by 160 feet. Named after Jeff Bezos's mother, Jacqueline is officially designated as landing platform vessel number one. While relatively new to the scene, the early arrival of Jacqueline highlights Blue Origin's unwavering commitment to achieving a successful booster landing on New Glenn's first flight. However, history shows such feats are not easily accomplished. SpaceX only managed to land its Falcon 9 on water after its 23rd launch. Blue Origin is determined to gather critical data from New Glenn's maiden voyage to accelerate their booster reusability efforts. The launch of New Glenn will be a defining moment, placing the rocket alongside SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and Starship as a heavy lift vehicle developed by private companies. This launch not only signifies Blue Organ technical leap, but also underlines the growing trend in U.S. spaceflight towards large reusable rockets. Both Bezos and Elon Musk share a vision where rapid reusability is key to advancing human space exploration. Interestingly, New Glenn's launch coincides with the fifth flight of SpaceX's Starship. While some might speculate on possible government favoritism, all eyes are on Blue Origin New Glenn as it prepares to take center stage. Any delays in the launch could disrupt schedules, but transparency and fairness in licensing will be pivotal moving forward. That said, Blue Organ still faces a number of critical tasks ahead of the escapade mission. The company has yet to conduct a full countdown rehearsal load cryogenic fuel, or complete the final testing of New Glenn stages. In comparison, SpaceX's Falcon 9 underwent testing three months prior to its first flight, and ULA's Vulcan completed its hot fire test seven months before its debut. Despite the hurdles, Blue Organ is making steady progress. Earlier this year, the fully assembled 320-foot New Glenn rocket was transported to the launch pad, where it was filled with liquid nitrogen a precursor to its actual flight fuel. More recently, Blorigen demonstrated how they plan to recover New Glenn's reusable booster using a crane at Port Canaveral. As for the Escapade mission, it aims to study plasma and magnetic fields surrounding Mars. Designed and built by Rocket Lab in just over three years, the mission represents a major scientific leap. Selected by NASA in 2019 as part of its new class of small planetary missions, Escapade was initially set to launch with NASA's Psyche mission. However, schedule adjustments prompted a rapid redesign of the spacecraft. Rocket Lab faced its share of challenges, but has delivered a robust spacecraft poised to expand our understanding of Mars. Now, all eyes are on Blue Organ as New Glenn races against the clock to meet the narrow launch window for Escapade. Should the rocket not be ready by late October, the mission could be delayed by more than two years with profound implications for its scientific objectives and a significant increase in costs. 
That concludes today's episode. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on In Our Studio.